I'm Devin Clawson. I represent QP Local 2486, as well as the OSPCU. Uh, I want to first acknowledge that I'm speaking to you today from the traditional territory of the Fort William First Nations. I live in Thunder Bay, Northern Ontario, uh, where I work as a custodian for the Lakehead District School Board. On Friday, March 5th, I arrived to work at Westgate High School at 7 a.m. with another custodial colleague who I had been driving to work that whole week. Together, we opened the school. After the first 15 minutes of my shift, my colleague began to complain of a fever and cough. I advised him to take the rest of the day off and I drove him home. The school at which I work currently has nine custodians on staff and the building is mostly vacant as school is being conducted online. By 9 a.m., the rest of my fellow custodial colleagues arrived at the school and we carried out the rest of our shift per usual, where we wore masks and kept a six feet distance as much as possible. However, due to the absence of students and other staff, we often would become more complacent. The next day, Saturday, March 7th, the colleague of mine who had left uh, early sick informed our custodial team that he had tested positive for COVID. Fear, anxiety, and uncertainty overwhelmed our, our staff, and many of us began scheduling COVID tests without the guidance or recommendation of either the health unit or school board. By late Sunday night, March 8th, our supervisor reached out to us uh, that the board was seeking guidance from the health unit and not to attend work on Monday, March 9th. The following day, uh, we were once again contacted by our supervisor that our, super, our, our, that our situation had been reviewed by the health unit and that because we were wearing our PPE as much as possible, we were all determined to be low risk of exposure and could return to work unless we were feeling symptoms. Later that day, two custodians that had been tested over the weekend received positive COVID results. We were then instructed to remain off for the rest of the week until we had, could all be tested. By the end of the week, seven of the nine custodians were confirmed to have contracted COVID-19, myself included. As a young worker, I never much worried of COVID. I viewed it simply as the flu that would last a few days and that I would be fine. I followed protocol as much as required, but at times let my guard down and often I found myself drifting into a lull when it came to PPE. I was tested twice. As the first result came back negative, it was believed I had been tested too soon, and so I had the unpleasant experience of being tested a second time, in which the result was positive. My symptoms included fever, chills, cough, body aches, tiredness, and an extremely painful headache. The odd thing of the virus is my symptoms would come and go, uh, often never experiencing more than two or three symptoms at a time. The most noticeable symptom for me was the complete loss of taste and smell. Although my other symptoms have now gone away, I continue to be unable to smell and taste to this day, three weeks after first testing positive, and I've been informed that it could take up to six months to even a year before those senses have fully returned. Not only were the seven of us infected, but we also spread the virus to our spouses, children, and other family members that live with each of us. I was shocked to learn how easily the virus spread. One of the custodians who tested positive arrives and leaves work with gloves, mask, and protective goggles on. She also takes breaks and eats at separate times and in isolated locations from the rest of the custodial team, only to cross paths to receive the daily tasks from the head custodian. We are all recovering at our own rates and luckily nobody's symptoms have been too severe as of yet. I am disappointed in the delayed response we received from the health unit and that they were so quickly to dismiss us as low risk. Had we not taken such a proactive approach to getting tested, we could have easily returned to work and our daily activities too soon and passed along this virus to even more people. A proper investigation into the matter at our school was not conducted until a week after it first occurred and the seven of us had already tested positive. I urge everyone to learn from our experience and never let your guard down. Even for me who had only mild symptoms, I constantly miss the taste of a home cooked meal and the smell of the spring air. Uh, thank you all for allowing me to share my story today.